Hello and welcome back to Railroads Online. So today we are here. We just turned around and got a uh, hot patch for the beta branch. So we did get a bunch of hot fixes in there. It looks like I think it was 23 bug fixes or um, hot fixes, whatever you want to call it. And then one new added feature. So uh, we will jump into the new added feature right away, which is there in the corner as you see you can now toggle the mini map on and off with the y button makes it nice and easy you can change that to whatever button you would want it on if there's another button you want it on so there you go as you can see hanging out at the new roundhouse still kind of in construction this whole area so not going all crazy into it we'll cover it at some later time in a video when it all gets done but we are going to go over the hot fixes and stuff like that today so there you are, but this is just kind of where I am because I'm building stuff up here. So, there you go. But, uh, yeah, so a quick rundown of the bug fixes. We got a bug fix where the uh, sun was rising in the wrong direction. So, they did turn around and change it. So, now, yeah, sun is rising in the east, which has been confirmed. I just dialed that down, and it was down here. So I guess rather than flipping the map, which was kind of the hope for the flip of the map and the snow would go to the north, I guess they changed the the sun. So now at least everything lines up, you know. Sun rises in the east, sets in the west. The north is north and snow is south. So that's just what we are looking at now with the map. So Aurora Falls is, I'm not sure where that is, but that's that's... You know, that's the map anyway. Snow is in the south, and that's all fixed. So, solution there to the problem anyway. But uh, for those who were concerned, fixed an issue where the uh, splines continued in the wrong direction after snapping them to existing splines. That was an issue definitely for, for uh, hooking into the old stuff for sure. Ran into it finicky could do some things and work around it but whatever there's a solution to that been fixed no problem any longer so that's good to see what else do we got uh fixed an issue where the help ui did not disappear anymore uh didn't run into that fixed an issue where the mini map did not display content anymore after changing maps that it did run into where you just go along and sometimes there'd be blank spots in the mini map so that has been fixed fixed an issue where some cars and new vehicles were not shown immediately or on the mini map so there's that's the thing, which, yeah, sometimes when you're building and buying stuff like that, it would not click in this idea to say, I love this curved fence cooking around in here, courtesy of Gizmo. Great fence work. Like it. It's cool. Sorry. Distracted. We won't go into this stuff right now. <laughs> we'll cover that some other day. What, do we, what else are we looking at? We fixed an issue. Uh... Fixed an issue with the cars. Yeah, that we talked about. Fixed an issue that the three color styles of the of the map looked different. I guess I'm not... Oh, right, sure. So this now, rather than just being kind of beet orange, is different colors of orange. I have to say that's an improvement. It does give... That's a much better look on the map, rather than this just being so beet bright orange. This actually has some color texture to it now, which is, that's cool, I have to say. It does look a little better. So that's an improvement. Uh, fixed an issue where Parallel Track did not copy different color types of bridges. So, yeah, I mean, that's kind of self-explanatory, obviously. If you were copying bridges and it didn't come out the same color... That would have been a problem. Fixed an issue where snow plow acted like it had the brakes on. Added also a handbrake now. So there you go. Yeah, I heard people talking about that. I obviously don't have a snow plow on this layout yet, so not something I ran into, but there you go. Snow plows have been fixed. Uh, fixed an issue where the client could not operate knuckle couplers on the Craig cars. 
Again, I don't tend to run Craig cars. Of course, that might have been why I had a problem with those what, early Craig cars that they didn't use them. So that's cool. At least that's fixed. What are we going go down here? Might as well try to fill up some coal or something while we're at this, you know? Uh, it's probably a horrible idea. I'll probably end up dumping tons of it on the ground being distracted. But let's do so. Actually, yeah, whatever. No, I'm just going to make a mess. Let's try. Let's just focus on running on and done. Yeah, these are these are all going to change. This is why I'm not getting into these buildings right now because they're kind of going to be work sheds and stuff like that. But the orientation of them, color of them, and stuff like that, not sorted out yet. That's why there's just some of everything thrown in here yet. So I don't I don't really want to go over that stuff because it's all going to change. Um, fixed an issue where the client could not. Okay, that one we did. Fixed an issue where the client fell through the loading platform that one i didn't experience fix an issue where the clients didn't see the correct information in the industries in and outputs on the full size map i'm just gonna say on the map right because i look at it like we got a mini map and a map i'm that's just so there you go i'm just gonna call it the map fixed an issue where the grade what is that? Grade readout was not displayed correctly while building track in precise mode. Oh, well, that's cool. Huh. Fixed an issue where the industry snap links were visible all the time. All right, so that's a good one to fix because that was definitely a problem. So those are only going to be visible now in build mode. So you're not going to see them once this is slapped down. So unless you pull out um, track to build, you're not going to see that, which is awesome because that was kind of a, it, it, let's be honest, it detracted from the look of the game. So that's super cool that that got fixed. Uh, fixed an issue. A lot of fixed of issues. So they all start out that way. The wicker basket had no hitbox, couldn't be deleted, so that was fixed. If that was a big problem, fixed an issue where having back-to-back -back switches caused them to be unswitchable on the map. So that's been fixed, which that was a thing pointed out. Good catch by people. If the switches were too close, you just couldn't uh, grab the difference between them. On like if you had a switch going that way the switch going that way even if you had a space between them you couldn't click between them on the map that got fixed that was a really good catch um, fixed an issue where you couldn't where you could be respawned if you were in the deep valley on pine valley so obviously there was an issue there fixed an issue where the clients didn't see locos or tenders on the mini map fixed an issue using the password wait using a password with s didn't let the clients join the game okay go we'll figure that that's a there's a weird bug for you right if you're talking about weird bugs to have to find there's one fixed an issue where some facilities did not have groundwork under them so that's cool i'm assuming that means like if we go in, where's one we know didn't have one? The sand house didn't have one before. Does that get one now? Sure does. Look at that. Bam. That's cool. Wow, that was actually a quick add. And nice to see him get a hold of that really quick. That's super cool. Way to add that. Little shovel and stuff. I don't think the shovel was there before that looks new. I had to go check, but I don't think the little shovel was there before. I don't know cool anyway that now all of that's fixed so that's going to look a heck of a lot better awesome to see uh fixed an issue where the industries had incorrect icons for inputs and outputs <clears throat> cool fixed an issue when players could not save games with invalid window file characters invalid characters are replaced with underscore and games will be saved so that's cool fixed an issue when you d when you what delete a track above the ground the engine and the cars would hang in the air that's one definitely ran into where the cars would just stay hovering even though the uh track would be deleted from underneath them so cool i mean not that that was the whatever <laughs> big 
big problem, but it's good to see that fixed for sure. And then it looks like uh, we have fixed an issue when players were unable to close the map if they clicked outside the map boundaries right that was one yeah so if you had this open and clicked somewhere else hey you had to click on the map before you close it or it wouldn't let you close it now that's been fixed which yeah cool see so doing it right there click on the uh, here we can click on here and then we can close it anyway so that's fixed cool to see obviously there so definitely you know a quick pretty quick response honestly and a hot fix to most of the little little bugs that have been around with this update solving some problems answering some questions kind of by fixing some of the things the way they did you know are we going to get this the map going to get rotated doesn't look like the map's going to get rotated looks like the sun got changed so now everything kind of just fits the way that it is so that kind of answered that question and then obviously a whole bunch of just quality of life bug fixes there and then the new feature for hiding the mini map which is kind of nice obviously a lot of people like to take screenshots that's for sure and that uh makes that process a lot simpler so there you go a bunch of hot fixes coming you know within days of the update there so not bad and uh i'm sure that's one step closer to getting it pushed out onto the main branch so i would expect that you probably look to see the update coming out to the main branch sometime soon no official word i think sometime in the first week of the month here is what they said or they were going to try to get to so i would look for that sometime soon but there you go hot fixes coming from the team for railroads online but i think with that we'll call it a win say thanks for tuning in remember if you get a chance like share subscribe subscriptions are free but they sure do help the channel y'all have a great day